Hello everyone and welcome back to another wild camp. So I'm on my permission woodland, brought the dog with me and for this camp as you can see I'm using the Hex Peak V4A. Bit of a difference this time, I've got rid of the pole and I've used just a bit of paracord and a carabiner. A bit more space inside I think. No winner, just going to use DP and Basher. I've tested that way I'm going to lay nice and flat. Dog's gonna go here. I think it's gonna be a good camp. I was here last week and I got into recording the intro and then I just give up. Decided to have a camp for myself. But this time I'm bringing you along. So I hope you enjoy the video and keep watching. So for tonight's light source, I'm gonna be using one of these lanterns again, gas candle, and the Yuko candle lantern. Give it a cosy feel. So I'm going to get these set up and paste around ready for darkness. Everything's finished setting up now. I don't know whether you can tell through the tent, but I had to put a DD tarp up temporarily because of the rain. These tents, it's not very good. It's only due for another half an hour or so, and then I'm going to take the tarp back down and just have the tent. But I'm all comfy in here. Glad set up. I've got a flask with me, a quick brew before I get the Cali cattle going. The dog's bed is set up here. It's the old British Army. Winter bag, support for it. Unreflective roll mat. She's going to be comfy there. She was a bit cold on the last camp, so I'm going to try and avoid that. And for dinner and tea. I know. These will be the last time we use these, thanks to Paul. I hope you're watching. Paul is on Instagram. I'll put a link to his Instagram below. Sent me some plastic Sealy bags. And clips and basically it's to make your own meals Baze, what are you doing put your own meals in boil them perfect cheaper than 4.99 for these so they'll feature on my next youtube video so thank you very much paul for that much appreciated mate but for these for today i've gone for beef goulash that'll be for tea because it's cold if I want more, I've got vegetable hot pot. Sorry, state detective. Vegetable only, this one. <laughs> That's all they had. I've got sticky toffee pudding for pudding. And I've got beans and sausages for breakfast. Yeah, so it's all boiling in the bag. I also have some chicken soup, which I'll just stick straight on the fire later on. Opened, of course. And I've got my usual waffles. I think it's going to be a good camp. I'm going to eat well. I'm going to have a coffee. And I'm going to relax. See you soon. Yeah, the coffee was good, but it doesn't last forever. Which brings me on to my next subject. Fuel, the fire dragon. It doesn't last forever. On well, my previous wild camps, I've been going through probably two, even three packs of these per camp, which is ridiculous. So, for this camp, I'm going to do a bit of an experiment. I've brought some of these wood wool fire lighters from a local shop, Delamere Logs. 
and all they are is a wood wool dipped in wax. Now my thinking is two of these will do what one fire dragon can do. 24 in a pack here. And I also think, and I've not tested this yet, but two of these will be sufficient to boil 1.2 litres of water in the skelly cup with no additives from around this area, no other sticks or anything like that. So before we go and do it, I want you to have a think. How many do you think? Three, four, one. Keep it in mind and add it in your comments later on if you comment. Let's go and test it. Straight on. Right then, so it took five of those little wood walls and we have 1.2 litres boiled. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, five. Which isn't bad. Now, what would you prefer, five of them or a couple of fire dragon? Have to let me know. So as you can probably tell, we're losing the light fast now. The sun is going down behind the hill to my left. So yeah, I think I've got probably half an hour of natural light left. So I've got some hot water prepared. I've got my beef goulash. I've got my mug. You'll notice, different from the usual one, bigger. Coming into the winter, you need a bigger mug. Dog's took herself to bed. I'm lit up like Blackpool. It's going to be a good camp. I'm loving it so far. It's going to be comfy. It's going to be cosy. It's going to be fantastic. Right, so even though I've got hot water in the flask, I figured it's best to add boiling water instead of warm water. Kelly Kettle's currently going behind us. I wonder if there's one of them things in there to remove. So, adventure food, beef goulash. Tastes like pizza, which can only be a good thing. And it tastes like Papa John's pizza as well, which is even better. Yep, that's done. 10 out of 10. So we've got the vegetable hot pot for later on something warm before bed or if I don't end up having that I've still got the chicken soup so one or the other probably the soup actually because that is chicken soup it's just the best in the world <sighs> by the way we can see the dog she's here she can smell food she's not left she's not having any 
Got your own food. Yeah. There she is. Alright, go on in your bed then. Right, okay, so I've decided to have this soup. So I've cracked it open a bit. And that's just going to go straight on for a couple of minutes. I've had to use my table here for a windbreak. Slight breeze coming down the hill. I've got my soft deal. Woolly hat. It's going to be a cold, crisp evening with chicken soup. You can see that's boiling over nicely. This little grip has come in handy. Well, it's a bit hot still. Hopefully you can see that steaming. Big try. Oh. Yep. Yeah. I'll be giving some to the dog as well. Is there a bowl? Hot soup on a cold winter's night. Perfect. So me and the dog have had our soup. Brilliant. Dog loved it of course. That sort of thing. Might have time for one more cup of tea before we hit the sleeping bag. I think it's coming to about half eight now. Which winter wild camping. It's a bad time, isn't it? I'm just get the Kelly kettle on one more time. I'll use that flask. Decisions, decisions. Talk about a quick brew. Takes about two minutes, if that. Just the milk. Right, so I've just been on my Instagram. I went live for half an hour for people on there. Give them a bit of tour of the tent and show what kit I'm using. Quite interesting. But I also watched someone else's live video and they're also while camping. And I'm going to put a link to this account below. And it's a bit of a tongue twister for me. And it's called East Anglian Bushcrafter. And he's just stripped off naked live on Instagram and dove into a pond. Absolutely crazy. Well, fair dues to you, mate. Honestly, that cracking entertainment. Now, it says on his Instagram that he is a veteran, so that pretty much explains it all, doesn't it, really? They're all crazy. 
So get over there, follow him. He's a bushcrafter, a good bushcrafter by the looks of it. And he brings a bit of entertainment to it as well. So get over there, show a bit of support. Well done, mate. And on that note, I'm going to call it a night. It's been a long day. So I shall see you all in the morning. Can you see? No. No night, folks. Cheers for watching. Morning everyone, welcome back to a very damp hill in North Wales, it rained all night, it's still raining now on and off, but we love it, dogs over there warming up with me, with a stick, here she comes, come here, there's a good girl, yeah so we've both had a fantastic camp, we hope you've enjoyed the video, thanks for joining us, all I'm going to do is I'm going to pack up now, we're going to leave. So, thank you again, and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.